Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this creative writing tutorial is about doing an analysis on what is at stake in your fiction story. <clears throat> so it does not matter what kind of work of fiction you are working on. A good work of fiction has, for a majority of the time, has something at stake going on in the story. And the interest level that your viewer has in the story depends on how convincing it is that something is at stake. And you want to go through the story as if you're going through the day, from beginning to end, and you're going to be carrying an egg with you. And that egg is what is at stake in the story. And you do not want to forget about it. You do not want to leave it somewhere while you go and do something else. You, No matter what is going on through your day, you will have to also take care of this egg. No matter, no matter what is going on in your story, you will need to carry along and take care of what is at stake. And Again, no matter what story, no matter what story you're working on, there should always be something at stake almost all of the time. And if the story goes more, is more focused on exploring one of the characters or something like that, you should never leave what is at stake in the story alone too long. You should never neglect it too long. <clears throat> It should always be right there with you. And how, you know, how much your audience is going to be on, on one end of the spectrum, you know, on the edge of their seat with anticipation, the other end of the spectrum bored and, and thinking that, that they may not want to follow through with your, with viewing or reading your entire story depends on how much, how clearly conveyed what is at stake is in your story. So first of all, what you want to do is write down everything that is and will be at stake in your story throughout the entire story. And this is an opportunity for you to clarify so you can eliminate foggy thinking about what the plot is. If, if you sort of have this thing over here that is sort of at stake for a little while, you know, then you may think about, well, that, that might have, that's a little bit more about background. We're, we're talking about the main movement of the plot. And you want to write down in a list the things that are at stake. And step two is you want to begin to break your story into sections. And you want to go through the entire story and map out in each section of the story, write down what is at stake, and do an analysis on it. In you know, go from beginning to end and follow through on how what is at stake is introduced to the story, what what is going on with what is at stake. If your character may or may not have cancer, there's what is at stake is going to go through many different changes and you want to follow through and make sure that, that the changes take place in an orderly fashion. So if there's a gradual buildup, then have things change to what is at stake to make the stakes higher or it really depends on on what is going on in your story. So in, in this way you can actually create a document where you can see clearly the things that happen to what is at stake in your story and this will help you see if there are times where your story wanders from the plot and, and goes into territories that are in danger of 
boring your audience. A really great work of writing is like an organism. So let, let's compare, compare it to an organism, okay? So, you know, the human organism, you have the brain and the stomach, and these are two separate parts that work together. And they are extremely different from each other, but they essentially are part of the same thing. Now, writing is very much like that. You 